Okay, so today I'm going to try and do a really quick video on a topic that has cropped up a lot over the last few months and years whilst I've been working on ships. I've put out some material to do with cruise ships over the last few years, tutorials on how to use Fourscore, the music program that we all use for charts, edits, all of that sort of thing. And I've also tried to give some information on where to audition, how to audition, what to expect, all those sorts of things. And something that I covered, I've covered quite a lot is charts. So the only real mention of charts that I've said on my platforms over the last few years is how important it is to read and how important it is to get your hands on charts and also how to edit them and organize them and all those sorts of things in the Fourscore tutorial. What I haven't really covered in depth is where to actually get charts from. I think I've briefly skidded over it in one of my earlier uh, vlogs about cruise ship auditions and things like that and you know the importance of getting your hands on as many charts as you can and I even offered to help send charts out to people. Uh, I'm also still happy to do that. I've done it with probably hundreds of people by now but I cannot send them whilst I'm abroad due to Wi-Fi and all those other things and work obligations. So I wanted to do a quick video on where to actually get charts from for yourself as it's probably one of the biggest questions that I'm being asked at the moment alongside can they have access to some of my charts but it's also really really helpful to find them for yourself and so I'm going to do a really quick rundown of where to get charts from and the process of how I find all of my charts basically. So the first thing this is going to seem stupidly obvious but a simple Google search will usually suffice for 90% of your needs. It literally is about sitting down going on Google or any search engine that you prefer and typing in some of the following phrases. Drum charts, drum sheet music, drum scores, drum transcriptions. So this is also applicable for any other musical instrument, guitar, you know, guitar charts, guitar sheet music, all that stuff. So yeah, those are kind of like the, the pillars of what you want to be looking for. Obviously, if there's a specific song that you need to work on, this cropped up a few times with me. We played uh, You're My Best Friend by Queen for a first wedding dance the other night and I didn't have a chart for it, so I just typed in You're My Best Friend, Queen, drum transcription, drum chart, drum sheet music, and it came up. So sometimes be really specific with what actual song you want. Also, if none of those are really bringing up that many results for you, uh, remember to type in PDF because that's the format that you're gonna want your charts in anyway. Again, be super specific. So if it's Motown, funk, uh, Latin, any of those specific genre styles that you wanna work on or you wanna get more charts in, then just type that into your search engine as well. Type Latin drum charts or Latin drum sheet music, something like that it will crop up. You get the picture. Literally, so point one, it's as easy as just going on Google, typing in drum sheet music. Also, a quick side note, if you're looking at charts to improve your theater reading or your cruise ship reading, try and get your hands on as many different charts in as many different styles as you can. So it'll be helpful to say guitar, Latin, sheet music, uh, guitar, rock, sheet music, all, you know, try and cover all of your bases, jazz, rock, funk, all of that sort of stuff. So here's a list of my go-to websites that I usually use when I'm looking for charts and inspiration and all of that jazz. I will also put a link to each of these in the bio so all you have to do is click on them and get directly to these guys' pages. Number one, Tim Buell. Tim Buell is probably my favorite drum charter in the world. He creates transcriptions for Zildjian Live, Vic Firth Jams. Aaron Spears, Alan Sterling, Benny Greb, uh, any major big artist you can think of, he has probably done a transcription for them at some point. On Tim's website, he is gracious enough to have put a shit ton of free drum charts on there for us for free. So thank you for that, Tim. And actually, another jump off side note, on my podcast, Music's Elite Seat, I actually had the pleasure of sitting down with Tim a few weeks ago and we got to chat everything, drums, charts, life outside of drums, all of that sort of stuff. So if you are interested, go to Music's Elite Seat across any streaming platform, YouTube, Apple, Spotify, all of those sorts of things to check it out. Another huge one for me is Online Drummer. OnlineDrummer.com have thousands of charts, paid and free, in ranging difficulties, styles, genres, all of that sort of thing. And so they cover a lot of bases on that website. They also have a lot of other resources for drummers too. So that's a really good one to check out. Classicrockcharts.com is another really big one. I get a lot of our 80s rock nights and you know general rock music, Fleetwood Mac, 
Rolling Stones, Eagles, all of those sorts of bands, I get a lot of my charts from this website. Again, some paid, some for free. Facebook groups. Join a bunch of charted Facebook groups. I only discovered this recently and it's super helpful. So people are basically asking each other for certain charts. So just jump on, someone will link uh, to a PDF and then just save it. Uh, that's a really good one. If you've got a few hours spare, just jump on those those sites and there should be you know, thousands of charts being floated around the Facebook community. So that's really good. In a similar vein, Reddit groups, they can be fantastic as well, subreddit groups. So just again, type in drum charts, drum sheet music, drum transcriptions, uh, same with any other instrument as well. Sheet Music Plus, this website is also really great. I've found a lot of really good resources on there. Mostly paid, I would say, uh, but they do have a lot of really, really good high-end quality charts. A lot of the ones that are paid, you'll find, a lot more care and attention has gone into them, obviously, because the person's getting paid for them. And they are, most of them are, are really, 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 really good. Uh, I will talk a bit more about prices uh, after I've done this list. Vic Firth, Vic Firth have a lot of really good resources as well. For anyone who doesn't know, Vic Firth is a drumstick maker company. They are the best in the world, as far as I'm concerned. And they have a lot of resources on their website, loads of like rudiment charts and like top 40 rudiments and you know like exercises and all of that sort of stuff you know four bar grooves with accompanying videos all of those really cool things like i said if you want the vic firth jam stuff that's on tim buell's website which is phenomenal drum charts international that's another website that i use best sheet music i use a lot as well and that one, I found some more niche charts on uh, Best Sheet Music. Robert Farrell, F-E-R-R-E-L-L. -L. Uh, that one's more recent, so I had a few charts that I wanted the other day, and there's shit loads of charts that he's done for free on his website. Um, it's always really, I, I find it amazing whenever these guys are giving away free charts, you know? It's it, like, it's such, we're so lucky that people are available to do that because it opens up a whole world for us. Another one, Joel Fountain. I love that guy's charts. He does phenomenal charts as well. They're really concise. They're written really nicely and they're really easy to follow. So Joel Fountain is another really good resource. And the last one I've got here is Drum Ninja. So check out all of those. Like I said, I'm gonna link them all in my bio for you just because it's much easier. So that's the primary list of where I get my charts from. Charts as in charts that I need for the ships or charts that I just wanna read or to learn new styles, anything like that. That's kind of the bulk of where I find them. Google search and then that list of websites that I've just given you now. So if you're looking for educational resources, this is slightly different to the charts. These are more centered towards drum books, drum DVDs, online drum courses, drum um, subscription sites now, that's like the new thing. These are my go-tos for that and my go-to people for those resources. So a lot of drum players, artists, musicians have their own websites now on Patreon, sites like that. And so the ones that I found most useful, and I've tried most of these people, uh, the ones that I found most useful are the following. JP Bouvet, who won the Guitar Center Drum Off a few years ago, and he's done a bunch of really high profile gigs. And he's a phenomenal musician. He has so many was, uh, drum videos, drum tutorials, drum courses, technique courses on his website. And I think it's like £12 a month, I think, like 14 or $15 a month. Eddie Thrower, he is really rising the ranks now in the UK. I was a member of Eddie's site for a really long time. And that, to be honest, the only reason that I stopped is because I couldn't download his videos offline for when I was on the ships to watch. But he does the best. His filming is so amazing. Uh, he's really funny, he's really personable, he's got some really good advice, he, he does a lot of like backstage tours, talks a lot about how to get gigs, and when you subscribe to Eddie Thrower's site, he also has a like member Discord chat for, I think a lot of these guys do, but he has a special chat where you join it, and it's all the other members on his site that get together, chat, trade tips, chat, stories, gigs even, I, I think he started one before that he was looking for musicians for gigs, which is... Phenomenal, not many other people are doing that, so good for you, Eddie Throw, you fucking sick guy. Uh, Drumio, obviously this is, I think this is the biggest one in the world now, and they have access to kind of every major drummer on the planet. 
They do courses ranging from beginner to advanced hand technique, foot technique, playing in every style being taught by the best drummers on the planet. So that's a really good one. I just found it a bit too expensive for my liking. Um, don't quote me on the prices, but I think it was in the upper ranges of like 200 and something, 200 and like 40, 50 pound a year or something. But you get access to like all the, all the extra stuff then to and I think access to coaches and all that sort of stuff. Mike's Lessons, I think it's between Drummy or Mike's Lessons that are the two biggest drum website competitors. And so Mike's Lessons also is really good, but like again, I find it on a bit more expensive scale. Um, but his filming, his videography is phenomenal too. He is, and he seems like a really genuinely good guy. He's got a lot of really good videos on there. Again, ranging from very, very beginner to very advanced. So that's a really good one too. And you have a lot of resources and I think you get access to his drum camps and things like that. One that I was a member of relatively recently was Richard Spaven. He is a phenomenal breakbeat drummer, drum and bass, uh, all those sorts of styles. And I just loved his playing. So I joined his Patreon page and I loved it. He, was, he seems like a really, really, really sweet guy, really nice guy, killer player and a lot of really good advice, giving you background to the styles that he plays, where he got his inspiration from for some of the tracks that he's played on. That was a really good one too. Uh, Dave Weckl, which is one of the best drummers on the planet, he also has his own website where he gives uh, like a similar thing. So courses, breakdowns to songs, exclusive access studio, you know, to studios, all that sort of thing. And that's just to name a few. Uh, other places to get resources from, whether it's drum DVDs, books, anything like that. Patreon, Gumtree, Hudson Music, Amazon, YouTube, Vimeo, Purple Player, which is the platform that they use for Hudson Music things, I believe. And Gumroad, that is where I have bought a lot of materials from certain players. If there's players that you like, I would advise just type in their name and more often than not, they will have specific classes. And so I downloaded a Nate Smith class a few months ago, masterclass. I've done it with Steve Gadd as well. And there are also a lot of free resources out there if you look in the right places. So it's literally just about trying to find them and you know spending some time researching and things like that. Most of these players have resources on their own pages. So I bought most of Benny Greb's. DVDs in online format and his books and his new practice book, which is Unreal, off his direct website because I think then it's easier for them to get the fees, all that shit. I strongly suggest supporting the artists directly through their pages because I'm sure other, com other bigger companies will take revenue from them for uh, selling their stuff. Price-wise, it really varies. So, uh, you know, you can have drum charts ranging from like eight pound a chart to a pound a chart to three pound. It really, really varies depending on the chart, the length, difficulty, time to transcribe. There's also services like Tim Buell does and other transcribers out there where you can pay them to transcribe something you specifically want. So, say you wanted Lingus by Snarky Puppy fully transcripted, every single note. You would email Tim Buell, and I've done this before, and then he would say, okay, it's X amount for X for, you know, every four, you know, minute or something of the video. I don't know how he actually works it out, but it's say, you know, like that, and then you pay him and then he sends you the full transcription, which is such a useful service. If there's a specific song you really wanna learn note for note and you, there's no charts for it online, Another way to do that is also to chart it yourself if you have that ability. So another way to get charts is by utilizing your circle. By that, I mean call upon friends, family if you're family of musicians, people that you kind of know, people in college, people in music college, anything like that. Just message, ask kindly for charts. And more often than not, people are very kind. They will help you out. But you also have to ask in the right way. This is super important. I've had multiple emails that I've ignored because people feel they have a right for me to send them charts. It's so bizarre. They'd be like, it's almost like a demand on charts. It's like, oh, I'll have those charts when you're ready. And it's like, I don't fucking have to send you anything. You know, like you could ask politely and, you know, someone who like doesn't even follow any of your platforms, they've just seen your one video. They think it's an easy way to get 50 charts and they're just like, yeah, I'll, I'll take those charts. And you're like, nah, fuck it off, no chance. So make sure you approach people humbly, follow their pages, you know, be complimentary, you know, otherwise you'll probably just get ignored. 
So reach out to, if you don't know any, then you it's probably a good idea to start researching players who play in the following settings if you want charts. Theatre musicians, drum teachers, schools, universities, and cruise ship musicians. So reach out to those people that you might not know yet. It's a really good introduction. And like I said, people are usually kind if you email in the right way or if you message them in the right way. And they should be happy enough to help you with your chart searching. The next one is much easier said than done, granted, but exposure to the environment. Get a job in the industry that will provide you with charts as a byproduct of you doing that job. So cruise ships, theatres, recording, panto, West End, all of that sort of stuff. Naturally, you will be provided with multiple charts by working those jobs anyway. And by doing it this way, you will build up a multitude of charts. You'll have a chart library. I think my chart library is now at like three and a half thousand. Probably half from the jobs that I've done in theatre and on ships and half by my own volition by going out there and actively searching for charts myself. Also, don't be adverse to paying for bundles, bundles of charts. So on, I think, Classic Rock Charts and I think on a few of those other websites, Tim Buell's website, they have like bundle charts, so it's like you can buy like a hundred of the most played rock charts, rock drum charts for like 50, 60 pound or something. And it sounds like a lot, but honestly it's worth it because once you have them, you have them forever and they are a completely invaluable resource when you need them as well. What you want to get to basically is if you're playing, like I've been playing a bunch of wedding and function gigs whilst I've been off the ships. And it is invaluable to get your set list two nights before your gig and then to be able to compile a set list of charts. Make sure the charts correlate with the songs that you're playing and then you have all the charts there. I can't tell you how important it was for me to sit down over the last few years and just steadily download charts whenever I had a free hour on a Tuesday night or something when I wasn't doing anything just to keep researching so that when you go into your library, even if it's a bit of a more obscure chart, you have thousands to choose from, you know? There's also another website called Scribid, which is a subscription website with a shit ton of charts on it, but that's a monthly subscription that I don't really like the idea of just to get drum charts off of. But that can also be good for drum books and drum charts and things like that. Again, linking into everything I've said today, support your local artists, local meaning your community of players. So, you know, I love being able to help support like Tim Buell, Benny Grev, Aaron Spears, all those guys by buying their products and not trying to, you know, find the cheap way of getting a really knockoff copy, a really shitty copy or a really shit copy of their book just because you didn't want to pay, you know, five, six pounds for it. They are worth every penny that you're gonna spend on them, I, I guarantee it. You know, a lot of time, effort, money goes into these guys putting out these products. So I highly advise you doing that. And then it's easy to link in with them at some point as well. If you say, oh, you know, I love the book you wrote or blah, 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 at further point down the line, if you ever wanted to like open that line of communication with them. So you can also buy the physical books, which I would advise too. But then if you are traveling and you wanna take those books with you, you, you're not gonna carry a suitcase full of fucking drum books. So what I've been doing recently is all the drum books that I bought over the years, which is a substantial amount, I have been scanning them into Fourscore, the music program that I use with my iPad. This is a really easy thing to do if you watch my Fourscore tutorial, uh, the hour long in-depth walkthrough of how to use Fourscore, I show you in depth how to scan things into your library and then they stay there forever. And then it's just so easy, you've just got this one iPad and then wherever you go in the world, you have you know 40 or 50 drum books to reference and just to keep you going, keep you mentally stimulated. And what I've also been doing recently is downloading YouTube videos for offline use. So that, so I have like a folder of my favorite drummers and then I just look them up on YouTube. I, this is obviously different to you know downloading charts, which is what we're here for. But it's that sort of thought process that goes into helping you become a better player and having that greater understanding of our role and our instrument and you know what the elite pros are doing. Go for drum lessons, go to drum camps. We wanna see musical education and that whole sector thrive. There's been a significant cut in musical education resources in schools. So students aren't learning the same as we were when we were growing up. And so I would advise you to take it into your own hands you know, go and see a drum teacher, go to university, go to college, you know, learn through those means if you're struggling to get your hands on material and you're struggling for a path to become a better player. Every book and masterclass and clinic and DVD and, you know, 
video and anything I've ever watched has all helped my understanding, knowledge of my role and my place within music and within the band and, you know, just in general, in general playing life and in general outside of playing life. All these resources have massively helped, including charts. I probably read charts most nights before I go to bed on the ship. Uh, whether they're, you know, charts that I'm playing on the ship or whether these are charts, you know, that these mega elite pros are doing on Vic Fifth Jams and Zildjian Live, which you, again, like you can get on Tim Buell's website. You know, all of these things help your understanding. So these are my huge top tips in order where to get charts from. And nine times out of 10, it's cheaper than a McDonald's to buy these resources. And they can be invaluable in your playing and your life experience with drums and music and whatever whatever instrument you play. So hopefully this has helped give you a really quick insight into where to get charts from, how to acquire charts, and good luck on your chart finding journey. Again, if I can, I will help, but more often than not now I'm away, so I'm unable to send charts like I used to be able to. But good luck and let me know how your chart search is getting on. If you have any other websites or tips for where you get your charts from, please put them in the comments so that other people can benefit from that too and maybe put a link to the website. Thank you so much for watching and supporting. I've seen uh, quite a significant increase in views over the last few months, which has been incredible. It seems people are really latching on to the Four Score tutorial, so maybe I can do more things like that, videos like this that are gonna help more people get those resources that they need or understand how better to get those resources. So thank you and I will see you in the next video.